our planet's climate changed. Temperatures plunged, sheets of ice, glaciers, thousands of feet thick spread from the poles. It was the beginning of the ice age. Since then, glacial cycles, advancing and retreating from warming, cooling, and snowfall have reshaped our land many times. Each of these cycles lasted tens of thousands of years. During the melting part of the cycle, huge ice age lakes developed behind ice dams that blocked the Clark Fork River Valley. One of these ice dams created Glacial Lake Missoula along the Idaho-Montana border. It was up to 2,000 feet deep and held as much water as Lake Erie and Lake Ontario combined. The towering dam made mostly of ice held back the waters of Glacial Lake Missoula, but the deepening lake waters pushing harder against the ice weakened the dam. When the dam finally burst, all the water from Glacial Lake Missoula rushed out at estimated speeds of up to 65 miles per hour in a sloping wall of water perhaps 800 feet tall. Some of the floods during these glacial cycles carry 10 times as much water as all the rivers on Earth today. During the last glacial cycle alone, there were as many as 100 of these immense floods. Flood waters up to 1,000 feet deep, temporarily blocked by western hills, submerged much of the land during each deluge. Only the tops of higher ridges, like Rattlesnake Mountain, lay above the floods. The torrent's extreme force carved through rock and reshaped the land. So that was challenged the course of the Columbia side. River. Yeah. The floods carry ice rafted boulders called erratics. This light colored boulder is made of granite, but the only local rock is dark basalt. About 24 feet long and weighing many tons, this erratic probably floated here on an iceberg. It is one of the larger erratics. Many others, mostly smaller, lie along the rim of the basin.